Hi, uh, my name is Ben, and in this lab I'm going to go over how certain fruits, uh, when they're peeled and sliced, are susceptible to enzymatic browning. Um, I kind of want to talk about how the browning of the fruit is from the presence of phenolic compounds, uh, polyphenol oxidase enzymes, and oxygen. I'm going to go over how the different types of treatment determine browning in both of the types of apples I'm using. So I'm going to use granulated sugar, lemon juice, pineapple juice, uh, blanching, and then air as the exposure. Um, for my tart apple, I chose Granny Smith, and for my sweet apple, I chose Red Delicious. Now you wait 30 minutes for the apples to be exposed to the air or one hour is preferable. Alright, it's been about an hour and I just want to go over the results and the chemistry behind what's been happening. So this is my granulated sugar one. Um, it looks fairly good. Uh, it's because the granulated sugar has created a barrier against the oxygen molecules coming in contact with the tissue or the surface of the apples. This one is my pineapple juice one. Um, pineapple juice has very low acidity, so that will either completely denature the polyphenol oxidase enzyme or just slow the oxidase, oxidization process down altogether. Um, the polyphenol oxidase enzyme is optimal at 7, and so I think the pH is probably around 3 with pineapple juice. This one is my blanched one, so when you cook foods in boiling water, it's going to denature the enzymes in it, and I think that's what it's done here, and so that kind of slows down the oxidization process. This one is my air exposure one. Um, this one is probably the brownest out of all of them, as you can tell. Um, and then this one is my lemon juice one. Um, it's probably about the best one alongside the granulated sugar one. Lemon juice has a low pH around 2 or 3 and it serves the same purpose as pineapple juice in, um, in uh, kind of dysregulating the enzyme because of the uh, low pH level.